What's up guys, so a lot of rooms are coming for POCO F6 these days Infinity, Pixel Star, Pixel OS, then Bliss Room uh, The play integrity was down for some days and it was a mess And then she added an official, she added official Darf, uh, The third build, fourth build will come soon Yap Room and the recovery we got Then Halcyon A15, also Yap is also A15 So today uh, we'll be flashing the pixel OS. Uh, why I selected this nothing such uh, Just wanted to try it. It's coming from a different F not uh, Ryan this time has the October security patch as well Dolby Atmos is there and MI UI camera is also there. So we'll see how it goes Process is same guys if you're side loading. I will always prefer side loading uh, over TWRP lot of issues uh, there like you can format data. So just side load and uh, like don't be in a tension way so yeah so you have to download these three files one is the recovery file vendor boot and uh, this pixel os file so now let's get started what's up guys so a lot of rooms are coming for poco f6 these days infinity pixel star pixel os then bliss room uh, the play integrity was down for some days and it was a mess and then she added an official she added official Darf, uh, the third build, fourth build will come soon. Yap room and the recovery we got. Then Halcyon A15, also Yap is also A15. So today uh, we will be flashing the Pixel OS. Uh, why I selected this, nothing such. Uh, just wanted to try it. It's coming from a different F. Not uh, Ryan this time has the October security patch as well. Dolby Atmos is there and MI UI camera is also there. So. We'll see how it goes. So guys, the commands are same uh, as in any AOSP ROM. The fast boot first you have to check your device is getting detected or not. Then like flash recovery, then flash render boot, then fast boot reboot recovery. After you are done, you will see that you have been booted to pixel OS recovery. Uh, okay, some, for some odd reasons I am... Uh, okay, so now let's go to the next step. Now you need to guys up, click on apply update. Come here and then uh, click on oh, sorry the the color is that bad that it is missing what it is showing so anyways i can only read it so it is showing that apply from adb just click on that and you will just need to type the command here so yeah the color is yellow now that's why it is not showing so let's move to our cmd now it will take some time guys so wait for some time once uh, it will stop at like 47 or 49 percent then you will get a pop up on your phone uh, just click no there format data and you are done so we have to wait for uh, it to I mean go till 49% so yeah so guys it will take a long long time it will like uh, step 1 by 2 2 by 2 after it's done then only you will get this pop up do you want to additional uh, package do you want to recovery reboot to recovery now just click on no it is already selected and once that's done uh, you can see that it will be successfully completed you don't need to panic guys uh, that's it and now you just have to factory reset because uh, you have already like flashed a new room so yeah just when it is at one by two you don't need to panic because it will complete the step two by two after that uh, you will go to that uh, where you have to click no okay so don't panic even i got panic that why is it not going why is it staying at 47 i mean i get it sometimes so yeah Anyways, now let's come here and I'll, uh, let's go to factory reset. Here is a factory reset and this option is already selected. It's in yellow, that's why you can't see it. So yeah, I will format data. Uh, okay, you can see wiping complete, formatting data, wipe data has been complete. That's done. Now let's come back and we can reboot now. The reboot option is already selected. I can't uh, show you that because uh, it is yellow in color. So yeah. After so many days, you know, I got finally a case which does not show any bubble. Anyways, this is the Pixel OS and it has very less customizations and all. It will be just like the bland uh, Pixel uh, phone you just get. So it will be like that only. It has the October security patch as well. So yeah, see you guys. Very weird reasons guys. It was not booting up. It was just staying in the Google logo like for five minutes. So I just uh, force rebooted, just hold the power button for like 5 to 10 seconds and uh, 
it rebooted and it booted like just uh, in less than a minute so i don't know why was the first boot taking so much time anyways so we are booted into pixel os uh, setting up another device no i don't have another device let me connect my wi-fi first yeah, it will do its job right now you can see already the monet theme uh, doing its job anyways pixel os is basically you have a pixel phone with you just you can say like that obviously the cameras won't be the pixel level but we can improve with gcam but obviously you know pixel is obviously is on another level with cameras so yeah id login will skip for now uh, we can do it later let me set up a pin pin is done now for the fingerprint part let's start fingerprint added successfully no issues in that press unlock i don't use it so no i won't be using it uh, google services let's see okay 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 will accept it uh, get pixel peace of mind oh okay this is a new thing i haven't seen it in any other rooms anyway so maybe it's a pixel exclusive feature so swipe to navigate i know that so yeah very well you know you are ready to use your device swipe up to go home we will swipe up obviously we need to disable that settings this is how a bland pixel works just a my ui camera has been added and dolby atmos has been added i guess and i guess it's running on the october security patch let's check what security patch do you have it's october obviously so dev said that already so 1 october android 14 kernel version whatever it is uh, build number i guess we have to do it from outside so yeah just the basic uh, you know pixel stuff will be there what i'm guessing location i just will turn off i don't uh, need it for now so yeah i'll be using the kernel su real king kernel i will side load later so yeah so means like purely like you have a pixel based uh, just i said you know so this is totally just copy paste or whatever is it of uh, pixel anyways no extras will be here as it is pixel os it won't have the extras like other rooms have but that's fine we'll use it for a week or two we'll check everything how does it perform and all after that uh, we'll move to anything else you know like wallpaper and style you can also get that i guess this wallpaper on the lock screen lot of things are there i like this one so i'll keep this for now battery percentage and status bar that's there fast charging okay charging control is there as well guys you can like uh, stop at 80% okay battery okay but i don't see that uh, battery health feature it's not it added i guess anyway so yeah peace guys the phone is solidly smooth i really love it you know just change the wallpaper and you can see that uh, if i click here it's a pixel feature it is not there on any rom uh it's uh, probably only on pixels I, i guess it's because of the pixel launcher i guess and uh, yeah it is using the pixel launcher and it has the new weather apk for uh, the latest a15 it has been added on this and a lot of things are there to test uh, give me a day or two i'll make a video on how everything works uh, i'll use one day with the stock kernel after that i will change to another one so that we can check how does things work and all so yeah this also if you guys wanted to know how much storage uh, does uh, os will use it's 14 gb guys i just set it up so yeah sleeping soon guys so day one impressions of pixel os you can see battery backup is solid uh, 56% usage out of which in 54% i have got around around 6.5 hours sot and uh, idle rain was just 1% 2% uh, yeah it's fine i was listening to some music and wifi was always on so super fine for me and super smooth you can say and you can change wallpapers like this you no know, which makes it uh, really really nice but it's a uh, you know what uh, pixel launcher thing so yeah anyways so i was uh, using this pixel os 
definitely uh, i will just uh, okay and this thing is broken this thing does not work okay this battery uses thing uh, it is broken so yeah uh, i was just watching some anime youtube uh, and some games as well though not much but still it's a complete package guys tsr is low guys so you won't like it that much it's just uh, the 250 tsr you have to use module for two uh, for 400 to 500 anyways uh, this is the what do you call it yeah pixel os anyways so also this battery information is here as well uh, let me show you yeah my battery health has gone a bit down it's almost at 96% uh, anyways i am not that happy with it because i don't uh, play much on this uh, device as well but anyways you know it's poco so obviously i am not uh, thinking much about it so see ya guys it's just day one impressions we'll test the device for a week and every day we'll report the sot so guys we are currently in pixel os and i'm running at medium uh, yeah it is medium on so so yeah so i'll just set it now a medium and we'll do 60 fps and this will be off and what more one thing will be off motion blur will be off so not required so we'll start this scene now and so that we can check uh, how much we are getting we'll play for 15 to 20 minutes max i have also removed the cover as well so let's record now Uh, we'll record for 20 minutes, something around that, and then we'll check what is the FPS. See ya, guys. Peace. Day three or day four, guys. So this is just checking, you know, how much battery drains overnight on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was connected fully, so you can see the idle drain is just two percent for six hours and thirty-three uh, six hours plus. So it's just two percent with Wi-Fi on. So I'm super. Like happy for this real king kernel solved most of my issues anyway so yeah great guys one of the best rooms I have ever faced and with the best battery backup and with the best kernel you can see the usage was eight hours and uh, battery drain was eighty nine percent I still have around around eight percent battery left idle drain with always Wi Fi on it's only three percent. So pretty much satisfied with this, it can surely cover you for a day. So guys, it's time for a 30 second review of this ROM. I have been using it for almost a week now, and I am not using the stock kernel, guys. I am using the Real King V3 kernel, which is uh, pretty much solves every issue for me. Like you can see, the idle drain is almost zero percent. Screen was off for almost almost three hours. So. you can say that if you sleep at night and when you wake up with wifi on uh, sorry for the sound guys diwali is just two days and so sound will come so i can control that so yeah like max to max idle drain will be 2 to 3% so i'm pretty much fine with it that solves the big issue of the high idle drain with wifi on stock kernel so i don't have a issue anymore gameplay is fine but for some reasons Uh, while i was recording with scene uh, the fps meter didn't work so i could not test also i found another issue with it let me show you yeah so this i tried recording but unfortunately you can see that the i'm turning up the audio to max but the audio was not recording in genjin but it was recording in insta and other so i could not really test it so obviously uh, not that but the audio was working in insta you see i tried installing insta but audio was uh, working fine so <clears throat> also in, it works in some few games i asked the dev and he said that it is working for him so really you know can't say actually what was the issue there so anyways i have no issues with it i am using uh, the stock camera and the g cam as well well stock camera works fine if you are uh, using it for photos uh, yeah portrait mode does not work it is not working in any os pin now and videos you can do 1080 60 uh, very easily should not be issue so yeah and i play mostly genshin and uh, othering webs unfortunately i could not check the fps because scene is showing zero so and uh, yeah you know can't really much help and the average sot is like 7 to 8 hours so 
definitely will cross you for your entire day my usage mostly is calls whatsapp some games youtube facebook insta so it's mixed usage you can't say like a, a mid user so yeah it's more than balanced so yeah and my battery health has little fallen it's almost at 97 percent i will try uh, you know to uh, what do you say to fix some few stuffs what we can do uh, to not more drain but anyways you know battery is less price so yeah peace